everybody. <coughs> so I just swallowed loads of air. Um, yeah, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my boyfriend, Aubrey, who also has a channel. Hello. Yep, so if you wanna go and subscribe to his channel, it is linked in the first line of the description. And he does. Oh, I do gaming um, and sometimes vlogs. I went to the deep yesterday. There was fireworks yesterday, so got two vlogs coming up soon, so that's cool. But yeah, gaming and vlogs. Yeah, and some challenges, and sometimes I'm in those videos as well, so. So if you wanna see Georgie on my channel, she's sometimes there. Yeah, sometimes they pop up occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, and also subscribe to my channel because I am gonna be doing quite a lot of Six For Me related videos over the next year and just here and there, so stay tuned. Yeah, by the way, this video is not meant to offend anybody that takes either college or sixth form or anything. It's just a comparison between mine and Aubrey's courses, okay? Let's go. Comparison. The days of the week and time. So how many days do you go into college? Um, four, four days a week. I go four days a week and some of them are full days, some of them aren't. Okay, so he does Hang on, do you want to tell them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go in on Mondays for three hours. Yeah, I go in on Monday for three hours, nine till 12. And Tuesday is the same. And then on Wednesday, I go in nine till four. Um, and Thursday, I don't go in. And then Friday, it's film Friday, where we get to watch a film every Friday. And that's just uh, quarter past one till uh, four. Okay. I wish my timetable was a bit like that because at sixth form, in my sixth form anyway, um, we start at nine and we finish at quarter to four every single day, so Monday to Friday. Um, <clears throat> we do have free periods. I have eight free periods in my timetable, but we have to stay in school at that time, so I just use it to study anyway, so it just feels like complete full days. Um, so there's no days off, very full time. Wish I had that timetable. Do you have to, do you, Aubrey, or Banator, have to do any homework or revision or anything, like, so far? Okay, well, my tutor, Stuart, says that we should be doing work outside of class, but there isn't really much to do, like, at the minute, for the for our entire project that we're doing now. Um, we just have to listen to the radio, like, a lot. That's, that's literally, yeah, that's it. We have to listen to the radio for a bit. Yeah, also Aubrey studies media, don't you? Yeah, 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 level three media. Level three media, and I do chemistry, maths, and biology at, at A level in sixth form. I don't, I say I get given at least one or two pieces of homework every single week, at least. Sometimes it's like a lot more than that because I have two teachers per subject, so the different teachers will give sometimes different homework. Um, so there is sometimes quite a lot of homework and each piece of homework can take anywhere between, I don't know, like 10 minutes to like an hour and a half. Also revision, it is constant revision. When like, if you wanna do well, you have to be revising literally even when you begin the year, um, just when you get home from school. So it's very full on. Um, I would say I do like an hour and a half or maybe, I'd say I do an hour when I get home every single day from school after the full day. Teachers, tell me about your teachers. Well, we call our teachers by our first name. Um, I have three, um, Stuart, um, Sean. Um, it was kind of different actually, because Sean and Nathan who and Stuart were my three teachers, but uh, Nathan was sacked and Sean was gonna get sacked too. because they, Because they didn't need them in the college. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Sean somehow managed to stay. Okay, so that's the difference between college and sixth form because um, in sixth form, and mine anyway, um, this is all about mine, not like in general, um, we call them by their last name. So obviously like, or just miss or sir Mr. or something. Mr. Bleeby. Yeah, Mr. Bleeby. Um, yeah, by their last name. Shout out to Mr. Bleeby. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Bleeby. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we just call them by their like for, uh, their last names rather than their first names. And sixth form to me is definitely almost just exactly the same as normal school. It's no different to like being at secondary school. It's just like normal lessons again, um, which I really like. So it depends what kind of person you are. See, I didn't enjoy like school until year eleven when I was studying for my exam yeah. exams. Yeah. Even though I suppose when you go to sixth form and you're studying for your A-levels, it's just like you're revising for your exams anyway, because it's only two years. Yeah, because like beforehand I felt like 
Because year like seven, eight, and nine, I feel like I wasn't actually working towards anything. But yeah, in year 11, 10, 11, I felt like I was actually working towards something. But yeah. Yeah, that is true. I When you're like revising, you know that there's like this goal of what you want to revise so you can get done. You're blocking the candle. <laughs> So there's like a set quota of what you can get done um, because you know what you're aiming for, like you know what you're revising for. Um, anyway, so what do you do in lessons mainly? Like what is kind of the structure of the lessons? Watch YouTube. <coughs> don't tell my tutor. Um, <laughs> sometimes. Um, I don't know. Do you actually? Yeah. We're allowed to. We're not allowed phones, so it's not really possible. And also they block YouTube, so that's definitely not possible. We're always working on Macs. And I don't like Macs, but I'm getting used to them, but I still don't like them. Uh, but yeah, we just work on Macs um, and we edit videos and record videos. We use like professional equipment and go out. And like uh, last week we went into the public and we just were like, what do you think about North Korea to the public? And everyone's like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah. <laughs> And then we just edit the audio down until we have something that we can work with, like a, a, a kind of podcasty interview type thing and stuff like that. Just editing videos and creating them. Yeah, Aubrey's definitely, um, college is definitely more of a kind of, I don't know, like practical thing where you would do more stuff, um, like practically. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not very <laughs> academic. Like with me, every single lesson I'm sat there like from nine till four thirty, uh, four. Hang on, quarter to four. From nine till quarter to four, um, having sat down all day writing notes about stuff I've never heard of before. It's brand new information. Um, it's not like a recap or anything. It's just new. So yeah, and I think that's why. That's why I would deem A levels to be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, because it's just. You're not, like, there's not a wide variety of things to do, but I think that's mainly based on the subjects that I've picked because I think if you did, like, drama or anything like that, then it's obviously different. Or even if you did media in A-level, what rules do you have? Do, is there any uh, rules at college? Not really. Like, if you're if you just been a pain, the teacher will just tell you to go home and that's it. Um, yeah. But yeah. Dress code? No dress code. We just... Even though I suppose if you came wearing something really dodgy, they would tell you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they would. <laughs> yeah, there isn't, Definitely. there isn't a dress code. There's no rules. You can just like go up and go to the toilet and stuff whenever you want. Like we were at film Friday the other week. Someone got scared, so they just left like halfway through the film. Do you know Nancy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just got up and left. Uh, <laughs> bless. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I think obviously with the dress code thing. I think at college it's kind of just obvious what the dress code would be like. They don't have to say it. It's just like wear something appropriate. Um, casual. At six form, it's very casual. You can be kind of smart, casual, jeans, jumper, that kind of thing. There's no uniform in my school. I know some six forms do have uniform. Um, but yeah, I, I like the freedom of what you can wear. So that's good. Um, why did you pick college over six form? sixth form you need better grades to get into it and i knew that i wouldn't get the grades like well i didn't know that but like i i i knew that i'd get enough to get into college but like i think sixth form would just be too hectic for me yeah like, and too much stress for me like i can't take a lot of stress anymore <laughs> um i chose sixth form i always always knew i wanted to go for sixth form and a levels rather than college i think there's two different types of people there's the college people there's the sixth form people and i think sometimes even when i notice in the comments of people's videos there's a lot of controversy between the two when they're like oh college is it is harder or a levels are harder and i think it depends what you're studying and it also kind of you know I've not done college, so I don't really know. And I haven't done sixth form. Yeah, but I think, but I think <laughs> I chose, I think I chose sixth form because I am very much a lover of sitting down, writing notes, learning it that way. Um, there's no coursework in what I'm doing or anything like that, so it's just very much kind of just learn it whilst you're there. I just like the whole school kind of setup, so that's why I chose it. And my, my friends were going there, so. I really like the quality of your camera. 
Do you? Yeah. Thank you. It's my phone, but yeah. Make, makes me look good for him. <laughs> stress levels. Is it stressful? Yes. <laughs> I think, yeah. Because, no, like, you What's go What's stressful in, about it? Well, no, like, so you have an assignment brief which tells you everything you need to do, and obviously no one reads it, because it's just, like, 20 pages of, like, stuff that you just don't understand. And then, like, you've got to get everything done before a deadline, and, like, you do things in lesson, but they don't tell you what you need to do at home. They're just like, on the last day, you're like, oh, I've got to do this, this and this. And you're like, oh, I've got qu a, a quite a bit of time. And then they're like, oh, have you done this and this and this? It's like, I'm, you've not even mentioned this to me uh, yet. It's really stressful because you think you've got everything done, but then they're like, boom, take that. And then you're like, so like our last assignment, like not everyone completed everything, but like, I, you still hand it in, but like there's just a lot of missing stuff. But I get everything done so I'm, mm. I'm proud of that i feel like with sixth form you you never quite prepared for how much work there's gonna be gcse compared to a levels is nothing like <laughs> so i wish easy. i could go and do my gcse's again because i would get full marks i tell yeah, you now like so near full marks um because it's just like if i revised because mm. there's just so much work like i can't even tell you how much work there is to do and it's not work they give you, it's just when you look at how much you have to learn from books and stuff, it's just so much. And you can memorise the whole entire book and still only get a C or a B because you need to have extended knowledge from that as well. And it's just so annoying and it's very, very stressful in terms of the fact that you know you've got to remember all of this and I don't have coursework and I don't have AS exams, it's all at the end of the year apart from maths. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, you're just expected to have to do a lot. And if you don't do a lot, then you're not going to do very well, really. So, yeah. The only person you can fall back on is yourself. Okay. Free time. Do you have any free time? Lots. <laughs> yeah. Lots and lots of free time. Oh, what do you do in your free time? Um, YouTube and walk around and just, yeah. Yeah, obviously Aubrey at college has lots of afternoons off and like a day off or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, whereas what in A level, obviously because it's so like full on, you don't, when you get home from school, you can be tired and not want to do extra work and you have to do extra work. Otherwise what you've learned is just not going to go in. See, I wouldn't like that. That's why I don't want yeah. basics for me. Like, so that's why yeah. whenever somebody says that college is equivalent to A levels, in, uh, equivalent to sixth form in terms of workload, I actually disagree because I don't know, it's just you have lots of free time where you can go over what you've already done or you can do extra work for it. But then... That's plenty of time to do that. Yeah, we don't need to go over it because it's just so like, yeah. this is this. But for you, you need to know like Whereas I need to go over everything. And, uh, yeah. So you come back home from school, you have a little break and then you're straight back on it again and it's just so full on. Um, and also, if you're doing A-levels at college, then they're probably going to be about the same. Um, I'm, I'm not on about that. But yeah. Um, and yes, free time. I do have my free periods at school, but like I said, I study in those free periods um and i always do homework and work and everything like that so i do spend my free time wisely but obviously when you're doing lots of work you need to have time to yourself to chill out to relax and that's what i like to kind of do in the evening time and also sorry if i'm talking a lot it's because i just do yeah <laughs> next one friends friends <laughs> friends i have no friends <laughs> what, how, how no, our class is like quite small i'd say there's about like 15 people in there maybe max um and everyone loves each other like so much like everyone just gets along like really easy um yeah everyone just gets along like everyone's really like chill with each other so do you have a form like a form room a form time no we stay in the same room every day we just walk in turn on youtube wait for Stuart to come in 20 minutes late like he normally does <laughs> that's about it <laughs> friends um my friend steph we came up together steph. from cherry cherry school where aubrey used to go as well and then we moved up to a new school together so we're still friends on that we have made quite a few 
friends from different classes, obviously from the different subjects we're in. And also we made a friend called Leanne Young. Shout out to you, Leanne, if you're watching. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Leanne. And Peanut. Make sure Peanut's <gasps> watching too. Peanut. I know he's cute, isn't he? Peanut's Leanne's dog. Um, something. Um, but yeah, cute little doji. Anyway, um, no, so well. yeah, Liam's in mine is Death's form, so we made friends with her there. But it's so easy to make friends because especially doing A-levels, you just mix in with so many different people in the different classes that you do. Obviously in college, if you're doing what Aubrey's doing, just like one subject, you're with those people all day long. So you're obviously going to make friends with them, which is probably yeah. um, quite good. Um, resources. So t do college give you anything, like any books or anything or... Mm. Like not really. The only thing, <laughs> no, the only thing that we have that the college has actually given us is like sometimes, like whenever we start a new a new topic, we always get an assignment brief which just tells us what's what's okay. it about and what yeah and what we have to do in it, and that's it. Except, okay. except from a hard drive, but we paid for that. Like, oh yeah, resources. So in sixth form, I know every sixth form is different, so I'm talking about mine here. Um, they give us like a loan of a book so we get like kind of different books that we can do you have to pay interest for that no 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 <laughs> <laughs> they just borrow, lend it to us and then we have to give it back when we're done um of this different subjects i did pay for one one of the books because it was like an extra revision guide and obviously we didn't have to buy that but i chose to buy that anyway so because she's smart so everyone else did anyway so that costed some money but it is worth it because it's a good revision guide um but yeah, they do give you lots of things to help you. And the teachers at the sixth form I go to are actually really helpful. Like if you ever want them to print you any, if you ever want them to print anything off, then they will do it for you. Um, so yeah, they're just helpful. Exams. So what exams do you have? Or like, do you have coursework? Yeah, the whole, right. Basically for each topic that we have, it's just like for that entire term, we do like, we're always working towards one big project towards the end. Yeah. So like the video that I posted on my YouTube channel recently, um, it's very confusing, but I understand it. So that's okay. Um, yeah, we just, we're always working towards that, like a pro final project towards the end and everything yeah. that we do goes into that. It's just for one specific project. Yeah. Whereas, um, we don't have to take exams off. and stuff. Whereas for A levels, um, and sixth form, it's you're not. There's not really a project for each like milestone. It's like your project is the final exam after two years. Um, so yeah, in sixth form, we don't have coursework in the subjects that I'm studying, um, which is a shame because coursework you can easily do well on, which is why we want it. And that's probably why they don't do coursework anymore because you can easily like get good grades on it if you like put the effort in and stuff. Um, <laughs> So I feel like the system now is more difficult, but probably better. Um, and yeah. and also, final one, grades to get in. So what grades did you need to get in? Um, I needed five C's, including English and maths, and I smashed it and got them. So I was like, yeah. Well done. Yeah, Aubrey did a GCSE results video on his channel as well, if yeah. you want to see that. Live re actually, it wasn't live reaction, was it? wasn't it? live reaction. No, it was just, was. I, was, I was literally so happy. I was just like... Like, cause I, I wasn't expecting me to do like bad, but I wasn't expecting me to do well. So uh, I did better than I thought I was going to do. Cause my, my school was really bad. Um, and the teachers were awful. Yeah. I went to the same one as him. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh God, it's so bad. But yeah, I, yeah, I revised a lot, like as much as my brain could let me without breaking down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did well. So you needed five C's to A stars to get into college. For me, I needed to get a B in English, Maths and Science, Science which I managed. Um, Smashed it. So yeah, it, it, the entry requirements for Aubrey's college course and for my courses, mine was higher, um, which is probably why a lot of people tend to go to college because they can't get into sixth form or because they know that from the entry requirements, sixth form is gonna be harder. And I think the reason why your grades have to be higher for sixth form is because it is a lot harder, and that if you can't get a B in GCSE, then you're probably not gonna be able to get like a decent grade in A level. And you're not gonna be able level, to keep up which, with everyone either. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, obviously like with me, I got a B in maths, and there was people in my class that got A stars in maths and GCSE, and then throughout the year, I managed to pick myself up and I managed to do half decent, whereas they 
didn't do so decent um but we won't talk about them <laughs> um so yeah i think it's just about how much work you put in um anyway so are you enjoying college yeah it's great it's really you happy fun. you took yeah college yeah, Good. Very happy. yeah Aubrey's actually one year younger than me so he's only kind of just started really yeah. I'm in like my first year and you're I'm in my second year yeah. of sixth form so yeah um so that's sixth form compared to college I'm also very happy I took sixth form 100% never would have chosen college same yeah so there's two different people here so that's our comparison video between college and sixth form I hope you enjoyed like seeing the difference between them and remember to give the video a thumbs up go and subscribe to Aubrey remember it's linked down in the description and I'll see you in my next video goodbye